Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the funny stuff, you know. <laughs> um, one thirty-eight in progress. We're actually yeah. starting right hey, now, so just feel free to pull to a quick intro, and then we'll bring you guys in. One old lady died in there. Oh, yeah. cool. <laughs> nice. Party. <laughs> Mike Feces <laughs> has more gas than TNN. <clears throat> potential Problems Podcast. Hey, Potential Problem Podcast. Welcome, folks. It's Saturday. Hey, we're here. Do I sound sick? I'm not sick. What are you talking about? Hey, you got Ebola. Yeah. What do you think, Kurt? I think it's AIDS. Yeah. Uh, I thought, let's I hope thought so. you had AIDS for years. Though. Let's hope so. <laughs> Did you get tested for it? Uh, yes. But the, but the way I got tested uh, for it by dipping his penis in a gay guy's feet hole. Oh, yeah. Waiting six months <laughs> for <laughs> to see if it, to see if you had AIDS. Oh yeah. <laughs> you could just. I think there's a moment where you know you're like, huh. Yeah. <laughs> you're like sitting on the toilet and you're like, hmm. Sitting on the toilet. <laughs> sitting on the toilet. <laughs> and no one else likes that one. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> it's- no. <laughs> it, it shows the social point that yes, women do take shits. Do they? They, oh, they do. do. They do. On they're your usually, I used, they're to, usually I used to clean bathrooms at Walmart and they're way worse. Oh, <laughs> anything that you have to clean at Walmart has to be awful. Yeah. The women's bathroom is Lots of tampons. Worst. A lot of tampons. A lot of blood everywhere is gross. Women bathrooms are uh, always dirty because women don't fully sit down to pee because women's bathrooms are always dirty. <laughs> And it's it's self Does it make it splash up more, yes. like if they're just hovering over? I don't know, I'm not usually there. <laughs> How about that? When you go into the bathroom, this happens at office. At, at the office, uh, this happens at office. This happens at office. <laughs> office Caesar Steve say up. this happened at office. <laughs> this makes Caesar angry. They tell Caesar work late. I say <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, this happens at the office, <laughs> and uh, what what happens when you you go to a uh, toilet, and you see that big red stripe? Right, right by uh, where where you know the crotch usually usually goes as the woman is sitting down. Oh yeah, and so like they pull it out, and I don't know, maybe it's like uh, it's like uh, almost like they're they they dipped a little bit too much. They dip their uh, paintbrush in a little bit uh, too much paint as they're swinging it around, and there's like splatter trails and shit like that. And I I know it's it's a part of sharing a bathroom, but you know. <laughs> Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> why do they? Why would they not wipe it up? Why would you not see that? And because be like, you would assume the water up. will just take it away. It w- well, I'm talking about it gets on the outside of the oh. toilet. Uh, it I, does. It happens. I've apparently lived a very privileged life because I've never run into this. You this never sort have. Of thing that is horrifying. Yeah. Yeah. You would think people. You would think it would be treated like air, like airlifting a, a victim out of a war site <laughs> with yeah, like on can. a cot. You have to make sure not to scrape them against any rocks on the <laughs> exactly. way up. But apparently <laughs> not. Courteous. They just pull it out and whip it around. You know, <laughs> fling it at the wall. <laughs> There is, yeah, that was not good. So that happens every once in a while, but whatever. Uh, Saturday podcast. This is uh, not to make a big to do about this, but this is probably Kurt's last episode for quite a while as he pre- exactly as he prepares. Yeah. I'm moving into the Holiday Inn with Scott Stapp. That's right. <laughs> Scott Stapp needs We're a room. Go on a room. <laughs> Uh, halfers, are you going to get like one of those rooms that connects, or are you guys just yeah. going to share one room we'll, with we'll two beds? Share hopefully, one. yeah. I mean, he's like, "There's a cot," and I was like, ah, "I won't be needed." You know, <laughs> we got a friend coming over. You know, so yeah, oh, that's exciting. Have you heard anything else about the Scott stuff? I thing? haven't. No, you haven't looked I haven't, at it. Yeah. Did you guys uh, hear about the Scott Stapp stuff, anybody? Well, who, who is this man? Scott Stapp? He's a singer from Creed. <laughs> Wait a second. How old are you? Yeah, it's, uh, 23. 23. I okay. Creed? And what is this Creed? <laughs> <laughs> the guy, Yeah, the guy from the Rocky movies. Oh, I've seen those. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's been through everything. Uh, Creed, anybody want to take that one? Who is Creed? Nah, that's not important. I, so this is a 90s band, so I assume they sound something like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, all 90s bands ripped off well, any better. No, no, no. It's well, uh, hey. actually a millennial band. Va- no, they were around in the 90s, right? Mm-hmm. Earlier. 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 No, no, no! I'm talking about uh, uh, Creed. Oh, yeah. Like, when that did was they like first mid come to out? late '90s, I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay. 
They were a little late to the we game. Wide open. There you go. Oh, I know. Okay, no, I know with wide arms wide open. That's a nice song. Wait, what happened to him, though? <laughs> 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 yes, it's a very nice song. It is. Right it's beautiful. It. Did he did he die or something? What happened to him? Uh, his close. career did. Yeah, his oh. career. <laughs> close. So, uh, he, so okay. His so arms we, are wide closed now. Yes, they are. His opportunities are real closed. <laughs> right. uh, he uh, he got into uh, some sort of jam recently, and he claims he's homeless and penniless, and that the reason why is because the government, uh, mainly the IRS, they fucked him over <laughs> on his taxes. As well as, uh, and he says it's due to a uh, clerical error. And uh, in addition to that, he says that his uh, record company is withholding royalties from him. That's a little bit more believable, except for the fact that they probably... Nobody's buying Creed anymore, so there's like there's no more royal. Yeah, I royalties, download but. my Creed illegally. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying a while back, Kurt? There's no more CD, no more Creed CDs left to buy. And they've all been printed <laughs> and bought. Yeah, they're all gone. <laughs> they, so they owe him what at least 14 years of of record royalties. That's what like six bucks. Yeah, six exactly. That's uh, six fifty. Uh, we're also on camera. I don't know if you do, if oh, you do that. That's so good for you guys because I'm very good looking. Bam. Huh? Well, you Wait, do all right. Wait, where, do, what? where do I look? There you go. You, you oh, don't, don't need look, to okay. really. Like if you yeah. if you address the camera, then people call you out for it. Oh shit! Yeah, you don't want that. <laughs> and they kick you in the yeah, in the tip of the like penis. Scott Stapps. I wasn't Scott actually Stapps. addressing the camera for the record. I was just that's a nice shelf I was looking at <laughs> oh, there. Okay. Very well built. Good job on that. Oh. Barely. Barely held together in most cases. Yeah, what are you gonna? Are you gonna fuck it? You seem to be in love with it. Come on, man, let it go. Must be the wine. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Try uh, the wine. Uh, so uh, we have uh, Kurt Fletcher. Uh, like I mentioned, uh, probably his last show for a, quite some time. I'm sure yeah. he'll come back through. Sorry, maybe, Bonobo. Maybe he'll <laughs> he'll bring a guest or two with him next time he's through Albuquerque. Yeah, I'll try that would to be cool. for sure, man. Uh, and uh, then we have uh, to the left of him, we have Devin Rivera. Devin. <laughs> That's me, you guys. How's it going, man? I'm I'm doing pretty good. I saw on the way here there was an obscene amount of people panhandling. Like I think the market's a little saturated on Montgomery <laughs> right now. <laughs> what did you? Who was the one that you were most likely uh, wanting to give your money to? Like, I who saw. Did you most likely want to <laughs> I, I saw uh, like an older looking lady who was using her newspaper to hide that she was smoking crack. Jesus, like, oh, really? Very, just ter- like holding it in, and I'm like, what is she? she is she hiding? Just be sun? careful, she'll burn her house down. She's, <laughs> trying, trying, to, she's trying to hide the newspaper. <laughs> I don't want She's my using fellow, the crack to hide yeah. her newspaper. I don't f- want my fellow crackheads to know I'm up with the, the uh, current events. <laughs> I don't want the I don't want the weekday news to be the first thing I see once I'm high on the crack. <laughs> That's so, such a bummer, man. So, how old would you say she was? She had it what in her? In, okay, well, I would say she had to be in her like fifties, but she was smoking crack, so maybe like twenty three. <laughs> yeah, crack adds twenty four years. I was anyone? about to say she sounds like a cool grandma, but then I remembered out here she could still be a cool grandma oh, at yeah, that 24. age. Twenty-four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're we're in a place where people can hold it together and and, and keep that sort of life going <laughs> with through the crack. <laughs> so, uh, how long have you been doing stand up comedy for, pal? Oh gosh, so it's been about six months. I say, I'd say six I've been doing months. Yeah. What made you uh, want to get into stand up? Like, what was the thing that made you? I've kind of wanted to for a long time. I, I think since I was even like a little kid, I, I like I liked. So I started doing acting classes and everything. But I didn't. Even, I started really late. Do you guys remember um, Mark Marin came through town? I yeah. remember that guy. Yeah, nice, nice guy, Mark Maron. Uh, <laughs> Old he, Mark Maron came to town. Uh, friend of the show. Friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> friend of the show. Yes. So Mark Maron. He he on his podcast he had this thing that was like a big hey. If there's any local comedians, you know, talk to talk to me, email me, and you can be on the thing. And I had already. I kept putting it off starting. And so I was like, well, fuck, maybe if I would started like two years ago, I could have been opening up for Mark Maron. So I was on the, I think I did your, your show. I did um, Nexus th- that next week. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was, was that your, your first time that going? That was my first time ever on stage. Okay, right, cool, man. Cool. Was that like your only uh, first time like performing in any way or? Oh, no, I did a lot of, I used uh, He was to... on the Wonder Years. <laughs> <laughs> but he gets that reference. Don't good, get the reference. Good reference. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I'm still 23 over here. You I know, I know. Shit. Uh, so, uh, what did you? You said you performed before. I did. What well, did you? Okay, I did theater a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of theater, a lot of acting. I used to be a musician. I'm still a musician. Oh, okay. What do you play? The, the guitar, the harmonica, and the, I'm learning the banjo. 
Very cool. I get it, I'm playing the the banjo like I play the guitar, which is probably because I play the guitar like I'm playing the mandolin. So I think <laughs> yeah, a few years down the line, you guys are going to see me like, hey, what's going on? They're like, not great. I, I'm uh, playing the trumpet like it's a piano. <laughs> Has anyone told you that you're the next Tiny Tim? <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be you awesome. got that reference. All right. I got Tiny Tim. <laughs> tiny Tim. Um, so we're being asked on the on the chat, what's with the mug? Huh? Yeah, you owe the oh, mug. Coffee, coffee and wine. Coffee and wine. It's my, what, look at how awesome this mug is. No, this is the best mug I've ever owned, even though it's the Packers. No, I love the Packers. Like, look at this. Just the shape of this mug, you can't knock this shit over. I'm not going to try too hard and just fuck everything up. I like this mug. It looks like a nice mug. Uh, are Where you did a pack? My mom gave it to me. My mommy. Nice. W- are you a Packers fan? Yes. I am a Packers fan. What did you think of the uh, the whole game uh, thingy? Uh, yeah, uh, the comeback. The game they had, really like, played in. They had disappointing. They had like four chances to put it away to like just completely seal it, and they didn't seal it. And that was kind of a bummer because as much as I don't like the Packers. Uh, I like the Seahawks even less. And I like the Patriots even yeah. less than that. So It would have been nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that, that was such a weird game because they were doing so great for a while. And then they, they fall behind and uh, and Cros- Crosby, Crosley, the kicker Bill guy. Cosby? Bill Crosby? Bill Crosby, <laughs> yes. Uh, I remember. Rate the cheerleaders and then it just all went downhill. <laughs> it always comes back Christmas to Bill song. Cosby. <laughs> But no, he makes he makes that kick. It was a wonderful kick. I was so excited. I was like leaping out of my chair, and then they just lose anyway. I don't. I didn't know where that passion went. So I just I, I don't know. Like we went and killed a hooker. Well, at least the mug made system. it through. Yeah, good. I didn't throw it at anything. Yeah, that was. Sometimes you feel like breaking stuff. Oh yeah. Just all limp biscuit. Mm. I got the I got the <laughs> coffee, so I could have a nice deep radio voice. Do, do I sound radioy enough? Yeah. yeah. Yay. So what's the uh, what was your favorite thing you've acted in? Would you say? That you've been a part of a stage production of, like oh, just one of your fa- even in high school or whatever, you know. We did. You know what? Well, we used to write our own. We used to write like half the time we were just writing our own shit, and so we had this really uh, great one that was. So we had always done comedies, and we we did one. We wanted to be like really serious and dramatic. So yeah. it was this whole story about a teacher who was like fucking a student and her boy. I don't know. It was this whole and thing. And then she gets a rape, <laughs> a rape abortion. <laughs> It was it was so heavily dramatic, yeah. okay. and and we were just the goofiest looking people. So everybody thought it was supposed to be a big joke, and we were so upset about that. <laughs> but looking back, it was that was a hilarious play we wrote there. <laughs> so it was lighthearted. Yeah, it was it was a lighthearted. There was murder. There was lots of murder. I think and suicide. Tons of suicide. <laughs> Sounds the, hilarious. The biggest laugh I've ever gotten with a stage play I've written is when a character kills himself. So, <laughs> why did he? How did he kill himself? Was it off off uh, off stage? On stage with a gun, and I feel like we didn't have good enough effects because he just went like "guz" and then died. Like, <laughs> I did. Bang! <laughs> he falls on the floor slowly. <laughs> if if Josh Blair would have actually killed himself, that would have made our play so much better. Who's this Josh Blair guy? Who's the a guy, friend of yours? The guy who killed himself. Uh, yeah, but is he a friend of yours yeah, or did you nice, hate him? Yeah, he's a nice. Did you just kick guy. him in the balls? Huh? No. I don't know. Did you ever fuck his girlfriend? I wouldn't. I'd fuck him. He's <laughs> pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Kurt, when uh, when fine. we had la- one of the times we had Scott Goff on, we uh, you guys were talking about oh, the about comedian that who that killed committed, himself. Uh, yeah, he killed himself on stage. Did you guys hear about that? No, but that's in, fucking hilarious. It was in hilarious. Oregon at an open mic. Uh, he was a musician, actually. He said, uh, all right, this next song is called Sorry About the Mess, and then he just started stabbing the <laughs> shit out of himself. Oh, yeah. Sorry in about the middle the of mess. Fucking, In the middle yeah. of the stage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone thought it was a joke, and they were, like, laughing and stuff, and then they're like, oh, shit, he's really dead. <laughs> that is such a great way to go. Yeah, right? Great way to go. Yeah, follow that. <laughs> You could tell he really wanted to be a comedian. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Did you guys hear that that open micer that just in Seattle where he got, oh, yeah, got the, the, the other guy hit him in the head? Yeah, that guy. I was hearing that, and like as a human he shouldn't being, shouldn't have fucked with Jesus. Yeah, no, wait, is that what happened? Yeah, yeah. The guy went on stage like uh, with his name Jesus Christ, oh. and they wouldn't bring him up as that. So then uh, he he hit the guy with a bat. Well, he had it coming then. Yeah. No, I, I like as a human, I don't. I feel bad. Like I I want to feel bad because a guy got hurt and then as an open mic comedian I'm like that's a great way to get your name out there man oh, <laughs> it's very like, true <laughs> it's like, I have hours of new material <laughs> in the hospital now <laughs> brain damage hey nurse bring me a notebook <laughs> <laughs> Josh Blue comes to visit him he's like hey man let's go on tour <laughs> <laughs> so uh, so what would you think of your first time doing comedy oh, was I it nerve wracking was it pretty- I was pretty drunk so I had a good time I think <laughs> okay 
I, I don't even remember. I, you know, I did because I was just, I thought the only way to go was to be a shock comic. So, like, everything was just, like, jailbait material. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just lots of just, just pedophile stuff. Do you have a, a, a lot of sex with young younger women? Uh, Is that a theme in your life? Wait, Not, wait, I'm, of course, they're legal, the obviously, but no, just like, do you no, find that you legal. date? <laughs> of course, that's not the first thing you have to blurt out, but I'm just like, do you in general find that you, you like dating younger women? Like, I, like, I guess for you would be like 18 or 19. <laughs> I, like, I like younger women, and here's why. Because they're uh, stupid. They're, just, <laughs> they're stupid. They're, they're really easy to impress. Yeah. And just, I like a lot of volatile. I realized the other day that. that the volatility yeah. of the dynamic of the young in <laughs> exactly i like <laughs> complaining about ex-girlfriends more than i like having an actual stable relationship i just well, like to look yeah. back and be like oh that crazy uh, <laughs> well, uh, tell it, us about a this conversation yeah yeah it does tell tell us uh, uh about some crazy ex-girlfriend what's oh, the gosh. craziest ex-girlfriend you've had like the worst shit where like you probably haven't even talked about it before or, like said it on stage but like have you ever dated like a real fucking nightmare yeah, I did. Okay, so this is like this is probably like my second real girlfriend, or maybe first one, or something. Her her name was. Uh, wait, can I say her name? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Well, just, okay, well we'll use a different name. Her name was Aubrey Scott, but we'll just call her <laughs> Aubrey for right now because. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it's she okay. was. Uh, well, she. Uh, Time to go onto Facebook. <laughs> I, well, she just joined the Navy. She like shaved off half the side of her face and joined the Navy. So I don't. She shaved her. Was it the bottom face? half? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. You know, obviously, when a service member dies, that's a horrible thing. But there's like two or three that I think I'd be okay with. If that was the list. <laughs> yeah, it's like when you watch Full Metal Jacket, and there's just that psychopathic dude with the M60, <laughs> and they're having that standoff. Oh yeah, 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 that guy. Or Can you walk the walk, <laughs> him <laughs> or ma prick. maybe Sergeant? Uh, is it Sergeant Barnes in Platoon? If you've ever seen Platoon, the uh, yes, is that the guy, the evil fucker in I Platoon? Don't remember. Have you ever seen? Mm. No. Okay, well, way to stop the conversation. Charlie Derek. Sheen is that? Is that one Platoon? Charlie Sheen? Uh, yes, that one's nice guy. Charlie Sheen. What's really, with, you met him? What's with him and his dad with fucking Vietnam movies? <laughs> Um. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Apocalypse Now was Martin Sheen, right? Uh -huh. And then, yeah, fucking Platoon was Charlie Sheen. Oh, yeah, Sheen. yeah. Martin Sheen almost fucking died on the set of He movie. looked fucking... They, okay, yeah, I almost thought it was Charlie Sheen when I first watched Apocalypse Now, just like, except for the voice. Yeah, they did. Same, same psychopathic tendencies. Clearly. Did you ever see that uh, Visa commercial where they're like waiting in line at the, uh, at the counter because they can't uh, run their credit card? And uh, at first it's Charlie Sheen, and then when they flash back to him, when they cut back to him, it's, uh, it's uh, Martin Sheen. Oh, it's Martin Sheen. Oh, cool. <laughs> he was like, uh, hey, you don't look like this guy. Well, anyway, so, uh, yeah, tell us about this crazy broad. What'd oh, she this do? crazy broad. No, okay. So, first, this is just a woman who likes to bite in a not sexy way. She just bite, and that was her thing. She would just bite you. I'm driving like, <laughs> like 90 miles sleeping? an hour. Yeah, just chomp. <laughs> And by like the way, nothing, hard? we never even made anything more. We had like a month long relationship. Never did anything more than making out. Which, by the way, that's just that's just a, a recipe for some trouble. That's yeah. a lot of tension you're building up. She must have been pretty hot if you put up with that oh, shit just, for that long. <sighs> really incredible looking gal. But she okay. So like a month into the relationship, everything's nice. I'm like a nice, fun person to be around. We do fun things. And are, she, are you wondering at that point why? Like how close did you guys get to like she, actually? You know, she had prefaced the whole relationship with saying, "I have a one month no sex rule," which is I fucking horrible. And you know what? Out. I have a feeling that that just happened like right before me. That's this is my things <laughs> with women. Is <laughs> I always get the really skanky girl, and she's like, you know, I've been getting into Jesus lately, and then so that'll be the relationship, Jesus lately, and then. And then right after, she's like, I think I'm just going to be a skank again and just go back to the freaky nice, stuff. Nice. Classy. Yeah. Uh, what did, uh, so. Oh, she, okay, no. So this is, I, um, oh, God. Did, did you know anyone who, who had uh, dated her? Yes, uh, all before? my friends. Just and any. all fuck her? Any person that I went to school with, really? they all they, her. Oh, dude, that's Or at least bullshit. got put fingers inside or did their own at thing. At least. Within yeah. one yeah, month, I bet, on. too. Within probably like the first date, I think. <laughs> nice. Okay. It's like, how did your first date go, Devin? I, I remember on mine, I at least got to rub the tip tip around some places. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. So, a it's, month in, how close did you get? You, like, made out? Did Was there any... Out. We hung um, out. Dude, we just, like, hung out at her dad's house all the time. Her dad's house? What? Nice guy. I like her dad. I still... Yeah. I miss her dad. That's the thing about the relationship I miss. He was a nice guy. 
Okay. Mr. Scott. I sometimes I don't give a shit about Aubrey anymore, but I would like to see Mr. Scott again. He Mr. made bow ties. Scott. Okay. <laughs> I say the same thing when I watch The Office. <laughs> So uh, a month in, no sex, and month, were you like, was it getting to the point where like, come on? No, I wasn't. I wasn't angry. I think I can. I um, I do this thing sometimes when I'm not having sex where I masturbate like uh, all the time. So that kept me. That helped me out. I think. Okay. Uh, did, like when you're with the girl I've or like this, privately? By the way. Just in my own. <laughs> it's a fun thing to know. Just privately on my own. I mean, like, I, I own hope side. you don't mind. <laughs> you, you know, know I, wouldn't I know w- you're not having sex <laughs> you're with on the me bus. tonight. <laughs> you don't mind me. I'm not having sex for a while. So I'm just going to crank one off right here. <laughs> Everyone understands. Oh, like, yeah, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, she, how'd she break up with you? Like, what was the deal? Why'd she okay. break up oh, with you? Oh, this is this gets this is where it gets weird. Well, I, I mean, she's probably on a ship now, right? So she's not going to hear this. No, of course not. Is no. she in Russia? I, I, I'm hoping just the freezing cold waters of the Atlantic Ocean waiting for rescue right now. I think. Uh, well, no. And then she uh, lied about being raped. Very serious thing to do. Uh, yeah. Is that why you had to start comedy so late? <laughs> <laughs> I had to just deal with. Well, how did she lie? Did she charges. be like, "No, I wasn't raped"? Well, no, she but said. She really was. No, she was. <laughs> <laughs> or was she like? Was she... <laughs> <laughs> oh god! No, she just. I think she just said she. Uh, she said she did, and we worked through it. And I'm like 19 at this point, so I don't know how to fucking deal with this thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. And then. It later turned out that she had just slept with a guy, like cheated, then lied about being raped. So it was this whole big explosion. And I just like, I don't know, it was such, she was just such such a crazy fucking like intense person that like, I really enjoy hating her so much. Like, she's probably, she's she's really stupid and selfish. Just a very, doesn't, doesn't understand what is happening with the rest of the world. So I just like, like, like okay, I want to open up a cafe someday. And just on this front door, it'll say, Aubrey Scott's not allowed in this cafe. <laughs> That's Please. pretty harsh. I don't know, <laughs> if, I don't know if I'd do that. I'm sure the Better Business Bureau would have a problem with that. <laughs> maybe I think maybe. we're going to give you a C. They might have went out with her. <laughs> they all did. So wait, wait. So did she have sex with someone else while she was not having sex with you? Yes. Yes, she did. Oh, that is the, bullshit. Oh. And she didn't even make him wait a month. That she son didn't? of a bitch. That, that is sucks, bullshit. dude. So what was the last time you ever saw her? Uh... Ch- I don't know, like at a, at a uh, newspaper obituary. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> no, I, I don't even remember. I think just like in passing, or she was probably dating somebody that I knew because she does that sort of thing. I don't know. Weird. Per- the other thing I want to do at my cafe, I want to have like a thing. It's called the Aubrey Scott drink. It'll just be. It'll be. Listen. You didn't make food at all. <laughs> <laughs> just like be- you can just open something else. And- <laughs> yeah, just open a sign store. <laughs> All the examples are just with her name on it. <laughs> Beware of Aubrey Scott. <laughs> You'll have like sex. Like a kiosk in the mall or something. <laughs> You'll have Beware sex of. With, <laughs> with every other drink in your coffee house except for that one. <laughs> the, be, it's not, well, oh, no, Beware of falling sign. Scots. <laughs> That's another sign. Uh, warning, no trespass. Trespassing. All Aubrey. violators will be having to date Aubrey Scott. <laughs> Aubrey Scott drink. Oh, so oh, anyway. the Aubrey Scott drink. So this is what it's going to be. It's going to be a cup of uh, dirt from outside, and like a mossy stone and some gray tap water. And it's going to be forty dollars. I think just a, mo- a what stone? <laughs> like, a, like a mossy stone. Like is a that stone. like when you put in a fish tank. Yeah. So it's just like a nice decorative stone like for aeration. I just want people not to eat the stone. I'd like them not to actually drink this. I think because I don't want people dying unless it's. You know, Aubrey, Aubrey Scott. Aubrey. Can, unless it's this broad, right? So then she would be welcome in the store. So uh, like, well, how are you gonna how are you gonna say she's not allowed in the store? But I have a drink that I only want one person she to has drink. She to do a call in order now. So I pick it up. For her. She can stand outside, just on the premises. She's not allowed. Slippery slope, slippery slope. Pretty soon you'll be like, eh, she can stand in the doorway, and then you know she's got a table, and then you can have like an outside table just for her, and then have like an anvil like right above it. That'd be fun. Like some Looney Tune action. Says, yeah, it says constantly, acne on the side. Yeah. Constantly so, be having pianos moved into the apartment <laughs> above. What was the last time you saw her? Like, when was the last oh, time? Uh, yeah, I don't even remember Were you, like, now. driving down the street and you're like, fuck you, bitch, and you drove away? 
And I don't. You had to park right away, and you're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, my god, that was it. Oh shit, the fucking Starbucks where I got this drink. That was the, not just now. Oh, but like <laughs> I just saw her five minutes ago. I, I, I like totally forgot. I like parked at that Starbucks, and I was like about to go inside, but I like hesitated a moment, and like a woman had walked out of the Starbucks and was like standing there doing something. I was fumbling things, and then I started to get out, and it was her. Like walking to her car, but I felt like I had been delayed in my car too long, so it would look like I was waiting for her to go outside. I don't know; it's just like a weird panicky thing I did. So I just had to like sit and like watched her go to her Jeep, and then I went into the Starbucks. By fumbling things, were you masturbating? <laughs> <laughs> had to be cranking one out. Ma- <laughs> wishy trying, whistle. Trying to dial nine on the phone to detonate the car bomb. <laughs> <laughs> wishy with someone or by herself? By herself. She worked there. I think. Did you consider like? Stock, like you know, you know. You I think we've some... all considered like stalking a person. Do you have any uh, duct tape in your car? Just I do. Chance? You know what? The back of my car is really creepy. Like, if you open my trunk, I've got like gloves, rope, <laughs> duct tape, a shovel. Just for, I mean, my own purposes. Case. Back in like sixth grade, one of my friends, he was, uh, he was staying over at my house one night, and uh, we had just gotten this like big ass TV. We're getting it all set up, and then he gets a call from his girlfriend saying that they're pretty much done. And he walks out of my house and just starts walking up the street and just walking in the <laughs> middle of the street. He got like a good half mile away. I was like, my parents asked, where'd he go? I was like, I don't know. He just started walking up the street. He said something about his girlfriend, and then they go, like, pick him up up the street, and he just keeps walking like, no, I have to make this work. Like, <laughs> dude, you're in sixth grade. She's not that important. He's, I guess, like, she was thinking about going to lawyer school or something like that, like, so in early on. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, and for some reason had to find a reason. I would have had to, to make it work, too. Yeah, she tried to find a reason to break up with him, and he started just walking up the street to her house. She's like, I'm it's tired creepy. of you hanging out with Fat Allen. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I was fat. Yes. Oh, that was a that was a nice story. That, that was, was a nice story. story. Would you have sex with this woman again if you saw oh, her? Oh, in an instant. Yeah. No, no actually, okay. probably not. I mean, Wait, what do you mean like, again? <laughs> or, yeah, never have having the first. No again. Oh, okay. I wouldn't have sex with her again, but I would like to have sex with her the first time so that I could say no to the second time. Like, you would be able to turn off all that, that hatred for her yeah. and then just be able to, like, no, I'll totally get a hard on for you. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And you know what I did the other day? I did this, like, okay, so, like, weird stalker shit. You know, like, crazy is kind of a gradual process. You just kind of fall into it without even realizing that you're being a weird, crazy person right sure. now. Sure. I saw, like, a girl I went to high school with that I used to have a crush on. And uh, like I saw her, she was she's kind of a richer north northeast heights kind of gal. And I used to be very like long haired and grungy, so you should never give me the time of day or anything. But at this seems point, like you would look like Emo Phillips, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> or that kid from the Wonder Years. <laughs> Do you know who Emo Phillips is? I yeah, he's a comedian. Yeah, no, I know Emo Phillips. He's no, okay. thing. Just checking. Talks through. The I saw voice. a girl I knew in kindergarten. <laughs> I went up and said hi, and she <laughs> screamed. But then I remembered she would age just like I would. <laughs> Implying he just went to a kindergarten class and <laughs> went up to a little girl. <laughs> yeah. Uh-uh, let's introduce our next guest. Actually, uh, would you do me a favor, Devin? And no. Are you, you going to swing that back and forth? or Okay, are you okay. good with that? All right, <clears throat> we'll do we that. Can, we can share the mic with like, like Paul McCartney and John Lennon if you we want to. Close. Paul McCartney yeah. and Kanye West. Be buds. Share Twitter. <laughs> We should, let's share two mics, bro. Let's do it. Like, okay. No, let's make it real weird. Well, I just wanted Alan to be able to talk. Alan. You're about the only one who wants that right now. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so, uh, so uh, Tyler, how's it going, What's up, buddy? John? It's going good. What, okay. uh, what, what are you up to today? Just cruising through the show. What were you up to? Uh, uh, it seems like a lot of people forget about our podcast uh, unless I confirm them the day of. Uh, which is kind of a funny thing, uh, yeah. I, I think, uh, because it's not that I'm the most responsible person, but I think that it's, uh, yeah, just just hold that. There you go. There go. All right. Then you guys can pass back. And yeah, no, I was recovering from a hangover. Hangover. What did you do last night? Oh, uh, just you know, one of those nights. Same Went to Sidewinders. Got, okay. What's that? Uh, oh, that's okay. a bar. Hold Don't on. worry about it. Hold, hold it. Oh, hold it. <laughs> yeah, there. Hold it for me. You're not going to hold it for me, Devin? <laughs> Come on. Who else I thought did we were that? Buddies. Who else did that? That was... Uh, it was... Uh, I think it was Emilio. <laughs> Emilio and... Uh, I think AJ and Margaret were there, too. Oh, and they didn't know whether... Like, so they kept... I, uh, I, I kept need to like, look back for that moment. <laughs> just, just hold the mic. <laughs> we had to explain to him. What were you drinking, Tyler? 
Uh, last night? Yeah. Just beers. Oh, okay. Just plenty what, of beers. What kind of beers? Oh, man. PBR. Uh, some sort of pale ale. Um, yeah. I had beer That's and soup. That's about it. Pilsners. <laughs> beer and soup? In soup? Yeah. Beer oh, and man. soup. Okay. Yeah. It's not like hot cheese beer soup. That might be good. <laughs> that does sound good. Yeah. No. Not right now, actually. but Probably not right now. <clears throat> so no. did his cafe. <laughs> no, I seriously threw up right before right before heading out the door. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was Isn't great. The best? Are you I, having I, wa- water or wine? I'm having wine and beer. And it beer. was water, <laughs> but Jesus Christ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but Devin <laughs> turned it into Malbec. <laughs> um, so uh, so apparently you're okay with drinking now, though. You're like, all right. Uh, I think it's right. helping. Yeah. It's helping. Hair no, of the I'm dog, as they say. Yeah, exactly. Nice. I've never really done the hair of the dog thing. I don't understand that. That saying, like, what's that? What's that even mean? How I could Google it means it. if you were eating dog pussy the night before, <laughs> and you get sick the next morning, yeah. you just need to go back into it to get uh-huh. not sick. You don't eat actual dog hair. Don't. Yeah, it's not. There's no actual dog hair in it. Don't do that. It's there's a there's a fin. It's hair of the dog that bit you. I think it's like a werewolf thing, maybe. Where that comes from. You got to throw it in the potion. I don't know. Think, take the money. All right. <laughs> Makes more sense than everything else. So, uh, Tyler, uh, tell us about a crazy ex-girlfriend story. I don't think we've... Oh, man, that's you know, funny you should you ask. Go. I don't want to talk about it. You, oh, you don't <laughs> want to? So that means it's recent. <clears throat> Somewhat. How, yeah. How, how, that, well, that's why I'm in Albuquerque. Really? Holy well, shit. Witness protection uh, program. What's your real name? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell you that right now. Are you serious? <laughs> okay. Uh, right on a piece of paper you know, and slide no, it. No. <laughs> <laughs> After the show. Okay. We'll talk, yeah. You look like a James. That... After the show, okay. Yeah. Post show, post show. That's like the ultimate shitty ex story. Is just that my ex sucks so bad that I live in Albuquerque now. <laughs> well, here Where I did am. You live before? Uh, uh, Whitefish, Montana. Holy shit! Yeah, I came from Montana to Albuquerque to escape. Okay, so it was not not purely to escape. I mean, that was just the uh, that was the catalyst that got me to actually move and like actually just like be like, fuck, I'm might as well go to Albuquerque. And for those of you that don't know uh, Tyler, Tyler comes out to uh, a lot of the shows locally, a lot of the open mics. Mm-hmm. Um, he supports a lot of the comics. Uh, a lot of times, you know, you might not even get a chance to talk to him. Uh, but uh, we've just uh, kind of happened to, into this uh, uh, kind of hangout sort of uh, buddy thing. So uh, it's kind of cool to have someone who just started just coming out to be a fan, not even being a yeah. stand-up initially. Just not really a stand-up, just a fan of stand-up comedy. Um, wh- who are some of the other people that you like to, like famous people that you like to check out or listen to? or Oh, anybody uh, pretty much mind? anyone, really. I like Anthony Jeselnik, the whole okay. one-liner That's thing, awesome. you know. Uh, what's that guy? Sebastian Maniscalco? Is that his name? That's not a right. yeah, <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah, that guy. That guy was awesome. I watched him recently. Uh, what's that guy? Uh, you know, anybody, anybody. Yeah, I, cool. I, I'm into all of it, really. So you have a pretty, uh, pretty broad taste as far as it goes uh, with for regards sure. to humor and stand-up. Oh, stuff for like sure. That. Yeah, I, I like bad stand-up too. You know, so really. <laughs> Who's your, who would you say would So you uh, love Nexus <laughs> <laughs> Of course Yeah He's I mean So there. even if people aren't killing it I'm still entertained Nice mm. Well that's the place to be yeah. <laughs> I know I go there Oh yeah man yeah. I'm sorry I was talking about uh, a do <laughs> Never mind Oh I was there uh, just the other night <laughs> You want entertainment? Need me neither Go to a do <laughs> <laughs> Is that a new video you're making? <laughs> sure <laughs> Just kidding New video Yeah a uh, new creepy video. Uh, check it out, folks. Uh, so um, yeah, so yeah. we were go- talking about ex girlfriends. You don't want to talk oh. about your last your well, crazy ex girlfriend. She was, she was a handful. Okay. She, she was you, know, I'm, you know, yeah, <laughs> exactly one handful. <laughs> Both of them, one handful. Yeah, yeah, just, <laughs> no, uh, she she was cool, but uh, how long were you guys? She was a little for? crazy. Four years. Holy shit. Four That's years. We time. lived together and shit. And How old are you? You're 34. Okay, 34. Mm-hmm. So since you were 30, so that's a big mm-hmm. portion of time, you know, even for for someone uh, like oh, yeah. I think a lot of younger people would see, like I used to think when I was in my 20s, I, I'd be like uh, six months, a year. Holy fuck. That's yeah. a long time. That's, that's my perspective. Yeah. Alan, how's, what, what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? Six months. Six months, oh, really? Oh, man. Were you in Felt love? Felt like forever. <clears throat> that's adorable. And then someone killed the hooker. <laughs> <was in> eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I have had nothing that has lasted more than like a month since eighth grade. Damn, you, you guys called each other too. on the phone and everything? 
Yeah. Nice. Remember yeah. Jim Coach got arrested. <laughs> had to go away for a while. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get for blabbing to my friends. <laughs> They're always blabbing. So um so your your ex girlfriend, do you yeah. still talk at all? No, not really. Uh, she she texted me like last week or something to congratulate me on my Seahawks. Ooh. You know? Oh, hey. Yeah. You on the Seahawks? Uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> so cool, to man. speak. Apparently a, yeah, lot but of, a lot of football fans. I do call it my teams. team, yeah. 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 It's my team. So. I call them the Seahawks, but it's with a completely team, yeah. different intention. Yeah. Well, no way. Uh, see, Smug gotta, mug over there. We didn't even that. know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody knew until I just said it. That is uh, nuts. Well, I'm pretty cool. Uh, so yeah. how, how did you feel about that game last week, man? Deflate like gay. You fucking blown away. You I have just, a Green Bay I fan right just, here. How how like it was it going into the fourth quarter? This could turn off. I was I was <laughs> did you devastated. think that they I were losing? Oh uh, yeah, they were I've, done. I, I thought there was absolutely no way they're coming back when when Russell Wilson threw his threw his Ninth. fourth pick. That is yeah, I man. I just put my face against the wall and just stood there. Just. Did you walk out of your house and then your friend said you can't come back in after <laughs> the game? No, thank God. I can't believe those fans. That's hilarious. We're leaving. We have bastards. no we have no fucking loyalty. Yeah, there yeah. we have no chance Die we're out of here. Fans with Boom, one of the towels. best comebacks yeah, ever. Yeah, they wear like jerseys mm. and towels around their necks, but they leave halfway through the game cuz yeah. it looks a little grim. Yeah, it's looking grim. Kind of Try to beat the traffic. Well, the traffic right down there in Seattle is really bad. So I, I had an actual thing. I was so I was visiting Seattle a little while ago, and I realized so you can the tallest building in Seattle, Columbia Tower, that's like right next to our stadium. So I was thinking it's like six bucks to get in there. You could probably just like buy a ticket to the Columbia Tower, six dollars, and then watch it from there with some binoculars. That's a good idea. It's the loudest stadium in the world, or whatever it is. Then you could just watch it that way. Yeah, yeah but I'd crack the window open a idea. little bit. Nice. I yeah. just I'd rather do that to just look at other apartments where the windows are open. <laughs> I'd probably just turn the TV on and watch it in HD. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> With all the best views the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Instead of paying a bunch of money to not really see what's going on. Uh-huh. And then your arms hurt after holding the binoculars so long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. TV's but you can tell people you were there. Like you can take pictures or something. Yeah, the, you know the atmosphere. I think that's no. You just yeah. screen cap thing. other people's Snapchats that they send you from the game and be, post them like, "Hey, this is awesome. I'm there." <laughs> <laughs> then you get those likes. Get Live tweet it. Yeah, that's that Facebook exposure. It's important for social <laughs> it media. That's a, yeah. You got to <laughs> grow your business through live tweeting. Did you say live tweeting? It sounded like I'm going to live, live tweet, tweet this it. show. How how do we live, live tweet? tweet? Like what what's the protocol for live tweeting? You just I think tweet. It's, yeah, <laughs> it's just that's all. <laughs> it's not like you can set a timer or something on your tweets, right? Just tweeter. It's like I'll send this at midnight tonight. Yeah. Okay. You know? <laughs> okay, I'm going to try wouldn't to figure out live. This, live, yeah. this live tweeting thing as I go. Uh, try to see how this Are you works. a tweeter? Not really. I just, like, tweet at famous people to try uh, to get extra followers. I always tweet uh-huh. at Rob Riggle and tell him what an asshole he is. What is your problem is with Rob Riggle? Is he an Riggle? asshole? I don't know. I just don't like him. I think you don't he, like he Rob Riggle? He seems like he's an asshole. Is this well, he probably is. is. No. I like Rob Riggle. You do? Why would? Well, you know. Yeah. He, yeah. I don't, I don't even know how to. He's a guy. What does he do? He's a comedian. He's a he does. He's stuff, an actor, like he's daily a, he show appearance stuff, and like <laughs> this, 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 this and that. No, no, no. no. That, that's Jason Alexander. Damn. <laughs> he's an ex marine. Does that help? Oh, the, yeah. Okay. No, no, what? Oh, that did help. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's him. Okay, nice guy. No. I mean, that's what Kurt's saying. He's an asshole. I've never met guy. him. I just think he is. Rob just, Riggle, just, if you're listening. He is. He ain't got <laughs> and, shit and going he is. on. Friend of the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, guy. no. Are we talking about That's that jerk-off yeah. Rob Riggle? Right? Yeah, Ugh. what a dick. Such a dick. I don't know the guy personally, he but seems he's douchey, not that he? funny. He's uh, just, yeah, he's not funny at all. He's great in Wilfred. Is he? I'm is still he? fucking convinced they took my episode. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that a little bit. I thought that was a pretty good uh, thing. I don't know if you were ready to talk about that, Alan, but I think it's something we should bring up. So uh, as you folks know, uh, my co-host here, Alan Clark, is not only a technical genius. Uh, but I, I, I went to a film school. We did shorts, videos, documentaries, all, all that sort of jazz. Uh-huh. I learned the way of the industry, yeah. except for Lawyer Up. <laughs> so, except for the lawyer up and copyright part. But uh, basically, Alan, uh, there's a show. Uh, how would you describe the show, Alan? Wilfred, it's uh, what would you say it was? 
comedy? Yeah, drama? it's it's a comedy. Com- it's a com you drama com comma drama? A dramedy. Dramedy is what they call it. Yeah. Mm. Wilfred is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got you- a lot of dramatic what things channel is that? about FX? it. Yeah. Have you ever seen that? And FX, seen? X, FX Extreme. Yeah, I, like, I like Wilfred. That's a good show. Have you I how like it? You don't like it? Mm, I don't can't get behind. Wait, real quick, I, Alan, do we do we not like it? Now it's that I know Rob no, Riggle's okay, on it, okay, I don't like it. Okay. I like the show. I'm with you now. <laughs> okay. I like the show, and that's what this all stems from. Because back in like 2012, when the show was like first premiering and everything, as I did with Twitter, with like I just said with the live tweeting, all I do is like tweet at famous people. I did the same thing with Facebook back in the day, and this is when uh, the creator Jace, of uh, Wilfred, Jason Gone or Gan, whatever it's pronounced, he had a Facebook, and I friended him, and I sent him a message with a pitch for an episode of Wilfred. Okay. Lo and behold, a very similar episode came oh, out shit. recently. Do you still have the email? Uh, yeah, I actually As found a the matter message. Matter of fact, he oh, does have the email here. Yeah. Look at this. Let me. Uh zoom in on it there so uh this is dated may 23rd 2012 Uh and it says not sure um not sure if you have explored or be willing to explore the idea for wilfred wilfred finds out he has a son from a day he escaped jenna's yard and went on or went about on his own in the ghetto uh could possibly have a black lab mix ghetto dog Thought just thought you may or may not enjoy to explore, or just a thought you may or may not want to explore. Have a good one. And then I put the picture of the episode where what do you know a ghetto looking dog and he has a puppy. Oh, hey, did well you? Done. Yeah, you win. I think I won. You yeah. should get a writing credit for that. I know, and I didn't. It's bullshit. You should send him a mean tweet. Did yeah. you watch the credits after the show, like, on slow motion and see? I did. You jacked me. Not one <laughs> mention. <laughs> Not Son one. Of a bitch. That's fucked. But it was weird because, like, at the uh, beginning of each episode, it has, like, a little quote. And at the beginning of that one, it said, lawyer up. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> at the beginning quote, it said, Alan Clark is a fucking asshole. Yeah. <laughs> Take so, that. Hey, fat there's Alan. my credit. <laughs> so I'm skinny then, Kurt. Yeah, so are you considering any legal action? Any any uh No, I tweeted Elijah Wood last night. I got nothing back. Oh well he's Well probably... you had a pretty busy night, I'm sure. Oh yeah. Well, Give this... him till Sunday. <laughs> do you uh... He's a party animal. <laughs> Do you uh, do you uh, do you do that thing where you check to see when a celebrity's last tweet was, so that when you tweet them, you kind of have an idea of what they're. Sometimes I didn't with this one though. Tweet frequent. Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you'll get something some pre- back, some sort of credit or probably some not. monetary compensation or no, no, some no Bill nothing. Cosby tickets. I'd rather that. I'd <laughs> rather. Cosby I'd tickets? rather go have a drink with Bill Cosby than get a writing credit on Wilfred now because they took my idea. What if they were about to send you a check? What what would be the the per, a fair fee for for a, for writing that uh, or for coming up with that idea? What do you feel would be fair monetary compensation if you're if you're listening, folks? There at Wilfred <laughs> yeah. at FX, yeah, they and they they probably are. Yeah, maybe because we they're sitting there with Rob Riggle just. <laughs> <laughs> They're These hanging assholes. on the edge of their seat. They're like, fucking Rob, can you believe we what the fuck they're, the they're sending about us? Do you yeah. want to sit in my lap? <laughs> it's nice and warm. You guys are having wine together. I think a funny together. X story is having about to start. A nice Malbec from Mendoza, am I right? They're it's w- actually from Argentina. Damn it. Yes. They've been doing really great things with, with red wine in South America lately. Let's not get into this right now, though. Yeah, well... Uh, well what the fuck does that even... They've been doing good things with it. Like, they, they, they've been they making put it good, in a barrel instead of a jug? They've just been making good wine. Like, it's <laughs> South America isn't known greatly for their wine. Are you a pretty, uh... Are you a pretty, um... Are I'm, you a connoisseur? Are you I'm, pretty I know, well-versed? I know just enough about wine to look like an asshole at parties. <laughs> All right. And just and just like just now before when I said the thing about RGC, I just know just enough for everybody to think I'm an asshole. So what do you uh, <laughs> what do you think or what are you drinking right now? What kind of wine are you having? Okay, this, well this is a Malbec. It's a nice. It goes well with anything. What is a Malbec? It's a type of wine. How do you it's say a, that? It's a type of Malbec. I don't know. You can say it however you want. It's a free country. What kind of food uh, would go well with this? You could have anything. That's that's what's cool about a Malbec. You have it at room temperature. Okay. And Could you, you have just semen have, with it? You can have some semen with it. Nice. It's recommended, actually. <laughs> it's recommended. All right. It counters the bitterness. <laughs> it does it. Uh, so, um, or in my case, the savoriness. 
<laughs> nice. So what's your what's your favorite food to have with this wine there, Devin? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, just, just, brie. Just cheese? Some brie cheese, yeah. I was trying to think of a funny thing to say, but I'll just be honest with you guys. Yeah, you can just be honest. I don't want to lead your listeners astray and have them buying whatever weird thing I said. So get a nice fish brie. Fish sticks. Get yeah, a nice fish sticks or... <laughs> Some hot pockets. Mm. Some of them frozen White Castle burgers and a nice Malbec. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a nice Saturday night with Elijah Wood. Hot, <laughs> what's the, tweet back. hot pockets and Malbec. <laughs> what's the most expensive wine you've ever had? $30,000. I had like, um, oh shit, when I was in Seattle. Yeah, when I was in Seattle, I had like a really crazy expensive wine. I got separated from the friend that I was there with. We were staying in a hostel, and I had this, like, wine. We just I just dropped uh, acid and went to see Laser Floyd, and I was oh, with this, God. like, <laughs> group of people. <laughs> yeah, it's like such a jubilee, like, hey, we're going to get high and see Laser Floyd. No, that's fucking that, no, cool. That's, it was trans and goddamn video. dental. It yeah. was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever done that, Tyler? Goddamn. You ever seen Laser Floyd? Never seen Do you have to speak? I have. Ooh. I'm was big it? into Floyd and that other stuff. When did you, video. when oh, did you see it? Oh, it was when I was a kid that I actually saw Laser Floyd. What do you consider kid? So how high were you when you oh, were a kid? Oh, you know, I'm... 22-ish? 16? <laughs> no. Yeah, like uh, 17. My 17, age. 18, when I actually saw Laser Floyd. So were you but you know, I've got my shit. dark side of the moon and uh, Wizard of Oz shit, you know? Did you have any LSD back in the day? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, what was your... The, did you ever go on a nature hike trip type thing? I got too many of those stories. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> any crazy shit in there? Oh, yeah. Um, I, it's, I I can't think of anything. Someone sh- specific, shat on your feet. <laughs> no. you talk, when I was tripping? <laughs> no, just in general. It's a general question. <laughs> it's a new it topic. Yeah. I forgot we were <laughs> even on a on, podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's just something I'd say I normally. I don't remember anybody shitting on my feet ever. Oh, okay. Uh, well, you sir have too bad lived. for you. Yes. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> if people shitting on my feet is wrong, I don't. I think every be time right. I've been to Montana, someone shit on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds like a Montana thing, honestly. Kurt, have you been through Montana much? Yeah, I'm actually going there in a couple weeks. Oh, do tell. Where are you going? I'm going to Billings and Miles City. What's in Billings and Miles City? Tell us about Uh, those places. Billings, I'll be doing a show at the R Bar, and then Miles City. Have you done that room before? Trails in. I did the one in Billings before, but I've never been to Miles City. That'll be on Valentine's Day. You're not going to have a pretty good time. Probably not. Have you ever been to Miles City? I haven't. I don't think so. I don't think I have either, but. That doesn't sound that exciting. No, it's. I'm sure it's not. It, yeah. Yeah, it's, there's nothing going on. The towns in Montana don't sound like they're actually real. I don't think I've ever. I know. Heard. Mm-hmm. None Miles of those sounded City. like actual oh, places. Yeah. Well, they, they are. Um, it's science. Name two cities in Montana right now. Hannah. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> Time's up. Time's up. You already no, won. No. <laughs> I'm from Montana. I could name all of them. You didn't there's need- only like seven. <laughs> yeah. That's the thing. You can count them on one hand. <laughs> hey, Kurt, you said you're going to perform on Valentine's Day. Do you usually like kind of do Valentine's stu- uh, material, Valentine's Day material, or relationship material heavy on those days, or do you just do your regular I, set? I don't think I've ever performed on Valentine's Day. I'll probably just do a bunch of stuff where I've never I just call all my exes cunts and stuff. I mean. Your exes cunts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just to uh, make everyone comfortable. Yeah, for you guys, for for you guys probably don't know Kurt that well. He's actually uh, he's uh, started at Laughs way back in the day. Uh, uh, everybody's heard of Laughs. Uh, was back except in for the this day. guy. No, yeah, never except heard for of this it. guy. Really? <laughs> was it? Was that? Is that a <laughs> Saved by the Bell thing? Is it the Saved by the Bell? <laughs> That's where they used wow. to hang out. Screech and okay. Mr. Belding would go have lunch. <laughs> it was the uh, only comedy club in Albuquerque for like the longest. Oh, time. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. No, I know. Wow. So um, actually, he started there about what year was it would you say 2001 2001 and so uh, 9-11 inspired you to <laughs> tell jokes you know yeah i actually started a month before that so Did, you were like planning you're like ah you guys don't even know mm-hmm. the punchline's coming yep <laughs> i would have loved wait to for it wait for it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> keep waiting for it i remember where i was on the stage bombing so uh it's too <laughs> yeah, so Kurt started as this thing called wow. the Great Southwest Laugh Off. What was that exactly? It was like a, yeah, contest, it was a contest by by laughs, right? Yeah, I Sponsored think uh, the first year it was about twenty five comics, and the favorite to win it was this guy with one arm from Amarillo. <laughs> and I was in the finals. Did with they call him, him Amarillo One Arm? 
<laughs> no, nah, it was uh, Joe the one-armed Mexican. <laughs> so the same thing. <laughs> yeah. So luckily, like, uh, I I went on right after him. So I was just like, hey, uh, Joe is just up here. Give him a hand. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I killed. <laughs> Did and it, took, it, took like, it took like a minute for the crowd to get it, you know? <laughs> and then I, I I was only able to do like half my jokes after that. So, But I, I won. So nice. that's cool. And then didn't uh, that Did one of my oh no you know, one of my favorite stories is like didn't someone come up to you and they're like whoa well, how long have you been doing comedy and you're like I don't know uh, what time is it <laughs> oh yeah the first time I ever did stand up I actually did really well and uh, which is very rare like the, I remember my first the time the headliner oh. that was headlining at laughs that week uh, yeah he saw me and he came up to me he's like oh how long have you been doing stand up I was like uh, five minutes <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah so you're you're going through Montana next week like how do you handle weeks, that yeah. uh, in terms of uh, uh, of that like did you just do your prepared material or is that, if it's a special occasion slash um, event do you throw anything extra in there I guess I haven't really planned it out yet uh, cause you, I mean you've been doing it for how many years now it was uh, your um, 10th anniversary or your 13th shit, or? 14 years almost now 14 Jeez. years and you've yeah. and you've been like you you've like uh, I know you don't talk about it much and we don't bring it up much uh, because you know we have kind of a limited audience in terms of who listens to us but a lot of people <coughs> that don't know your background uh, like you have a pretty good touring schedule like when you throw yourself into it when yeah. you uh, are yeah, able like to the last put few years I didn't there. do so much because I was in school <laughs> you know it's kind of hard to travel when you're going to school but uh, yeah, uh, gonna get back on the road full time when I move to Denver and then out to LA, of course. So. Yeah. So uh, again, with the question with uh, throwing your throwing uh, specific uh, material out there, mm -hmm. when you get to a certain gig, like if it's uh, Valentine's Day, like I, I said, are you like do you usually do something like that, or do you? I, you know, I don't even remember doing any Valentine's Day gigs, so uh, I guess I kind of have to think about that, you know probably do a bunch of stupid relationship material i guess yeah well, <laughs> well to know. me like i because i've only been doing it you know i think maybe half as long as you and haven't done nearly as many as as many spots but um that that's one of the things that i would be thinking about is like huh should i do something like that should yeah I write one joke but of course for i mean I? I mean the other guy i'm working with might be doing the same thing so i don't i don't want it to just be all relationship stuff you know? yeah of course, of I, course i'll probably just go ahead and just do my act yeah. No, 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 that's cool. Nothing special. <laughs> so uh, heading through Montana, and then where else are you going to be? Uh, I'll be in Idaho. Uh, Ida Pimp. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Idaho. That's a nice place, Idaho. I got to tell you, I had a, a pizza there in Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What? what kind of toppings did you have? What? This is it. This is why. This is the best pizza I ever are had. You sure you weren't on? You were ju weren't just on acid and watching the George <laughs> Lopez episode? <laughs> this 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 pizza. No, I thought that was better. <laughs> Potatoes and broccoli was this pizza topping. It was what? the best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. It's a dream come true. I like Boise. Nice place. I think that's the new that's That'd the new funny budding if you didn't comedy say the scene. You're like, I like boys. <laughs> <laughs> like Pizza's boys. great. That's delicious. <laughs> cool. Nice place. Sorry, I don't know. I enjoyed, that was a weird that's, interruption to make. No, that's fine. I like pizza. I almost got I almost get, like when I left for that for the trip that was a Seattle trip too. Like my parents had pulled my friend that I was going with aside, and they said, um, "David, uh, make sure that Devin doesn't get married." They just like specifically pulled me, especially pulled now that it's legal in some yeah. states. <laughs> <laughs> just make sure he doesn't. And then we got to the and like my whole head, and they were doing it seriously. They were totally serious that they thought I was going to get married for some reason. Like, were you dating anyone at the time? No, I just I might have been prone to getting married. I guess. But then, this guy's always getting married on his trips. <laughs> but <laughs> it's we, the only reason he goes on vacation. When we got into to Boise, there was like a uh, there was this cat. It was like six in the morning. We ate at this cafe, and I met like a, a lady named Brittany. Brittany of the Moon Kitchen Cafe in Boise. Idaho. Was she hot? Incredible. Probably the nice. most one of the most beautiful women I've ever seen. And Big corn I fed woman. <laughs> yeah. I just I wanted describe to describe her. Okay, her. give us a physical description okay. of skinny, skinny blonde girl, little hipster I'm glasses. I'm sold. Oh yeah, G hipster glasses like a one of those hipstery beanie looking things. Nice. Probably like a scarf. So your demographics hipsters. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. I think. <laughs> or just I like I like girls to be uh, cocaine skinny. Okay. Well, like, I like some ribs showing. <laughs> Earlier when you said you like a lot of 
volatility in relationships. Now I get it with the hipsters. Oh yeah, no, they're, they're completely all completely volatile. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I trust me as a as a a person who's dated um, pretty Many much only volatile women for the past fifteen <laughs> years. You'll come through and you'll have your war stories and you'll have some experiences, but there'll be that one. You think this. Aberdeen, Humperdinck, or whatever her <laughs> fucking name was. You think that she was, was the... <laughs> you think, whatever. Uh, you think this Katniss Everdeen is going to be <laughs> is going to be like uh, the one that, that you remember? Oh, no. You haven't even gotten into the thick of it. There's going to be one that will literally take a corkscrew to your taint, twist it around, pull it out, and then do the same thing with your heart. <laughs> what? <laughs> with Jeez. the same corkscrew. She didn't even and sterilize be, it or anything? No. Wow. No. She'll That's urinate insanity. on it, in e. fact. E. coli, just all over it. And that will be the one that if you're if you if that's what you're looking for you're gonna find it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh you better believe me. That's not even John's worst ex. I'm actually <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little turned on by this thought. To be perfectly honest. All with right, you. all right. Yeah, we'll put the word out there. If you're a crazy broad, you're oh, Devin very single. He'll say your name on podcasts, and <laughs> he will. I think you and Nick Munoz might be in the same. Uh, <laughs> pool there for I was just crew. I was just ta- I forget when it was I was talking to Nick and I said to him like I hope to God that you never find a happy stable relationship or your comedy is just going to take a dive <laughs> would you comedy is going to take a dive <laughs> we need you to be unhappy and miserable Nick Munoz so you can Kurt, make us laugh are you saying it would have to be on the diving board to be able to take a dive <laughs> that's what I was getting at if yeah. Nick, yeah. Mu- if yeah, Nick Munoz <laughs> If Nick Munoz's <laughs> comedy takes any more of a dive, it'll come out on the other side of the earth. <laughs> uh, just kidding, Nick. Oh, so, uh, is he watching? Well, hey, would you uh, uh, would you wobbly h a chick with Nick Munoz? I. What are the words you just said? Would, wobbly h. Would you wobbly h a gal? With Where's Nick Munoz. You know where the girl is the bar of the H. Oh, okay. No, so we have a different where you're supposed to, the way I know it, you're supposed to high five and then it's the it's Eiffel the Tower. Eiffel yeah. Tower, or it could also be referred to back Somebody the Eiffel Towered me in my uh, yearbook picture, <laughs> like in the group <laughs> picture. They just stood over doing the high five thing. I didn't even know it was happening. It was bullshit. Wait, how do you not know it's happening? You have to be in a very specific position no, not to an get actual Eiffel Tower. Hi- not an actual <laughs> Eiffel Tower. <laughs> like, I wasn't naked in the school pictures getting Eiffel Tower. No, but you still had to be, like, horizontal for some reason. <laughs> on, on all no, fours. no, I was standing there, and they just he did the planking. pyramid thing over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was like a... He was planking off of two what's erections. Planking? <laughs> planking. Uh, planking off. He's asking. He's asking. What's planking is? Uh, I'm not. Wait, I, wait, wait a second. You don't. I don't know planking. Why don't you? Whoa. See, that how does it feel to not be the one getting the reference? Right. Yeah, they didn't have planking in Montana. We don't have the internet either. It's, and it's not like they just it's got something. Ace of Base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not like it's. Out. It's not like it's something <laughs> that you base. need to okay. know. It's just I'll put one it in of those terms of in Montana. It's what's known as the the old. Bass hole intrusion. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. Oh, wait, that planking. That's Whoops. a sick <laughs> plank right there. That's awesome. I was on a completely different planking. <laughs> Please don't look it up on Urban Dictionary. That's like the oh, asshole okay, from yeah. Karate Kid. Now, Devin, I want to know like what planking older. you're talking about since you're not talking about that planking. The old, the old Montana bass hole intrusion planking. What? Tell me more. Oh, it's when a woman uh, uh, puts on a, a strap on. Like anal planking? Yeah, there we okay. go. That's the thing. I'm not the first person to think of it, right? <laughs> What's anal planking? I don't know. God it just damn. sounded like a cool thing to say. My my parents are so supportive and loving of everything I do that they're going to have to watch this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Are they? Get married. Oh, yeah, they were, and they're just going to be like, oh, okay, yeah, this is... This is my son. Why don't Do they you address planking? your parents specifically and tell them what planking is? <laughs> I... <laughs> What's your they mom and dad's you. name? They yeah, what's your mom you and dad's name? Since I'm already I feel I'm, like uh, name dropping. Outing so many people. What's your mom and dad's name? <laughs> uh, what, what are you going to do with that information? <laughs> <laughs> All right. You don't have to tell us. I was just curious. <laughs> I don't know who listens to this. I don't want them seeking out we my We don't parents. know either. Mm-hmm. Half, well, a bunch of, of Russians our, and yeah, some random yeah, comedians. Yeah, half of our audience is in Russia. <laughs> For some weird reason. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? Yeah, that's completely true. Oh. I was looking at the statistics yesterday. Well, fuck yeah, dude. How's, yeah. how's you guys... Wait, d- there's a chat thing, right? It's because they love the sexy talk yeah. and the money on this program. They know we like to talk so the like Mrs. Doubtfire talk. We talk like the Russians that from now on for the rest of podcast. 
Yeah, very good. And I, is I very think they were very here. sympathetic to that, watching the old lady being swung around. Video. That did probably uh, garner. So did you ever see that? You never saw that? No. Do you have that on cue? Did you ever see that? Is this in the same vein as planking? <laughs> uh, it's social she's kind media. kind of planking. Yeah, she's kind of planking, sort of. Uh, so this was a video that we watched a while back. Uh, Alan, did you come across this or did I come across this? It, we found it somehow. And uh, we watched it one day and we fucking died laughing. Uh, you feel bad right. for the lady, but whatever. Who Here, cares? Hold the microphone up there. Here we go. <laughs> oh, my God. No, don't do that. Quite literally swinging her by her coat. <laughs> She oh, wanders no. away. I don't think she liked it. <laughs> Crack suits are real inexpensive. <laughs> 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 high fives, high fives. Are you gonna, he's not going to tackle her. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is she mad? Is she into it? She's scared. <laughs> she should She's be. She's probably shitting her pants, literally. <laughs> She's Dude, like... Uh, how great would it have been if he would have tackled her? <laughs> Just make it completely malicious oh, for no dude. reason. She's like, what did I do? Eastern Europe, Eastern Europe scares the shit out of me. I thought there was yeah. more to add to that. That is, just seems like an awful, frightening place to be and so much fun. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to take it back. You know, I found out the other day that my, uh, that my great-grandfather is actually from the Ottoman Empire. Oh, yeah. sounds comfortable. Yeah, he was born in the... <laughs> <laughs> You could, uh, Is that a I'd store? Put your drinks on it. <laughs> <laughs> he was known as the holder of drinks. I am. I am an Ottoman. <laughs> Rest your feet upon me. He, love, he loves magazines, ladies. <laughs> yes, the only kingdom where the the leader is the footrest. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! So uh, Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire. In born in Constantinople when it's called Constantinople. Really? Yeah. No, it's not in Istanbul yet. It was yeah. That's what I'm saying it was it was when was it was Istanbul still Constantinople. Now? Yes, it is. Well, okay. but it wasn't at the time though. Just make I only know did it have, that song. Did it have anything yes. to do with Constantine? I. Because Constantinople, you know, probably the name had a lot to do with Constantinople. Seems historic. All I remember about Constantinople is an episode of Viva La Bam where they had the fat guy uh, Don Vito flying around Europe, and they sent him to Constantinople and Abu Dhabi and all these places, and, just be, mm. like to derail his flight so they didn't have to deal with him. <laughs> have you? Uh, he freaked out over it. He's dead. <laughs> How did is he, he die? Dead? Yeah, Don know. Vito's dead. He died like back in 2009. God damn it. We lost him. We lost the guy from Creed pro possibly. Did you ever, did you ever see that alive. video of that still... dude but puking? Like, is he really though? Off. Is he really? <laughs> yeah. No. Wait, the video of what? Of uh, Don Vito puking like after drinking oh. 30 or 40 shots of liquor at a bar. No. He's just outside standing there puking and looking at the camera like, what are you filming? <laughs> it was really bizarre. Does he puke like the Asian kid from uh It was How like High? the baby bird video. In the baby bird video? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I like that It was one. about that much liquor. Just <laughs> Have you uh you ever been to Europe, Tyler? No, not Europe. Asian you, countries. Asian countries, where'd you go? Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan. And I bet you it was See, Singapore, in Singapore is what they also say at the karaoke bars. Singapore. <laughs> I Singapore. <yeah. laughs> I was about ready to say that sucks, but that was actually yeah. pretty good. Indonesia, you know. What did uh, you were there for your job, right? You yeah. were a Navy all the, all those photographer. Places, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we have some of your photos. I don't know if uh, Alan uh, got a chance to. Did you get a chance to? I saw him. I need to get him. Oh, you haven't. You don't have him. In, in your time photographing the Navy, did you ever photograph uh, a woman with the name by the name of Aubrey? Who was hopefully dying? Scott, you're not talking about Aubrey Scott, are you? <laughs> she gets Holy <laughs> shit, dude! She puts out so fast. <laughs> she is such a slut. Anyway, what were you saying? So much, well, so much less than a month. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, a month. <laughs> no, no you're not. You're not. Devin Rivera, are you? Yes, I am Devin. Oh fuck! Okay, sorry. Yeah, anyway, so uh, <laughs> so um, I'm sorry. What were we were talking about? Uh, your oh yeah, oh yeah, sure oh, was. Oh okay, there we go. Oh, Look, yeah. we got some we got some pictures yeah, here. That's a nice you're, you're the one on the right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Is nice that Will stamp. Ferrell on the left? <laughs> yeah. Very, yeah, yeah. very nice cool. to meet It would be you. cooler if it was. <laughs> <laughs> who took? Where was that at? That was up in the control tower. If, if you're the guy uh, holding the, the camera, who took the picture? The aircraft carrier. <laughs> yeah. Uh, weird. A different there's, guy with a camera. There's a set of mirrors <laughs> that sort of yeah. get this picture. Yeah. So who was taking that? 
So Another if, photographer. If you're the naval photographer, who's taking... Well, there's like 20 oh, okay. na- naval photographers on the okay. aircraft carrier. So you are yeah. allowed to be in the photos as a photographer? That's who's, nice. Just that one. Who's <laughs> the best Navy photographer in your opinion? Me. Okay. That's what I thought. <laughs> no, who's the broad? Uh, <laughs> is that know. Aberdeen Humperdinck? Yeah. Is that her? That yeah. fucking cunt? Yeah. Constantine <laughs> Aberdeen. <laughs> yeah. Constantine. <laughs> Uh, what what year was yeah, this, man? That was uh, that was the mission accomplished speech right after all. Uh, oh, were you the, the guy right that, after shock and awe? Were you, you know, the one that we photographed went, his junk just in the in yeah. the suit? Yeah, you're the one who did that picture. Pro, uh, I don't know about that oh. picture, but yeah, that okay. you know, yeah, like, he's wearing yeah he's wearing that like seatbelt thing and it's totally bulging his junk. I really? took a few yeah. of those pictures, yeah. So I don't know <laughs> if I'm I took the one you saw. So what year was <laughs> but, uh, that? What year was that? 2003. That was May, I think. Holy March shit. or May 2003. Isn't yeah. that crazy? There was a whole mission accomplished thing, but uh, obviously yeah, history. Yeah, mission was, was, was not close to accomplished. <laughs> I was actually on the cover of Time Magazine. Uh, really? My, my shoulder from here <laughs> over was on the cover of Time Magazine when it said mission not accomplished. And really? I'm 100% sure it's my yeah, shoulder. Yeah, I was on the cover. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely my shoulder, no doubt about it, because it was a uniform combination in the Navy that you don't ever you don't ever fucking wear this uniform combination and it was just because i had to be on the flight deck for the whole president arriving and then i had to go inside with the president and be in like a proper uniform right away like right after so it was like holy shit that's definitely my shoulder see and time this is, magazine this is like one of the cool things did people that, ask you for autographs when they recognized your shoulder <laughs> no but people did ask, ask me for autographs when they saw that picture of jessica beale yeah that's fucking cool. What was the total the, douchebags? Really? Oh, can you believe you touched Jessica Beale? Oh, I thought you meant Jessica Beale. Oh tits. no! I was gonna be like, whoa! They oh, felt no. like douchebags. They, they were just, they felt just like douchebags. <laughs> 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 oh yeah. Okay. So that's how she Quick. poses for pictures. She's like, just pick me up. That was the first. Uh, no, I asked her if uh, that would be all right. That is oh, nice. fucking yeah. awesome, dude. Said, Quick said, question: hey, uh, Would it be cool if? Uh, Who's who's Jessica Beale? Have you ever seen? Have you yeah, ever seen? No, she, yeah, who is she really? <laughs> I don't even know. She's in some movies. She's a stuff. famous Wasn't actress. She married to Justin Timberlake. You don't watch Seventh Heaven? There you go. Seventh oh yeah, Heaven. fucking hot. <laughs> Nobody does. Yeah, the dad was parking a bunch of younger chicks on, <laughs> on there. You think she was one of them? No. That's right. She was way too hot for him. Yeah, it'd be cooler if she was. <laughs> so, <laughs> was, she, was she the one that was oh, in yeah. Electra? Does in uh, what? I don't know. I don't know any yeah. movies that she's in. Jennifer Gardner. She was in actually. Stealth. I, can tell I think you she's that married much. to Justin Timberlake, though. Yeah, oh, okay. She, yeah. Actually, Justin Timberlake uh, asked her to marry him in my hometown of Whitefish, Montana. Nice. You, yep, that's our claim to fame. Oh, that, that's what it says on the sign. Yeah. Welcome to Whitefish. <laughs> Where Justin Timberlake. Yeah, and she, she said yes, to, presumably. Uh, apparently. Like, despite right. the fact that he brought her to Whitefish, Montana. <laughs> hey, hey, easy. <laughs> what is it? Hey, what is there to do? Like, what's the, the best restaurant in Whitefish, Montana? It's called Latitude 48 and what downtown. It? It's fucking amazing. The chefs are top notch. The serving staff. What's the best thing you incredible. had there? I've had everything there. I used to work there. Anal sex? <laughs> yeah, nice. anal sex there. <laughs> anal planking. Uh, no, but anal I planking. hear it's good. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's uh, what about on the menu? Chef's choice. What if you're not ordering off the menu? What if you're going on the menu? What's the what's the, the like the thing? That just the the fillet. They got this little fillet. It's just a little little tiny cut, so it's cheap and cheap enough that you can you know get that. So some food. tiny guy named Phil comes yeah. out of the back <laughs> and to take yeah. him home with you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Philly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody oh, talks cool. like that in life. <laughs> <laughs> what's uh, what's like the night spot? What's like the place people? Is there a comedy? downtown Whitefish? It's a party town. It's uh, two blocks of like straight bars. Really? Yeah. Is there a comedy there? No, nope. there, there's where, no comedy. What's the room you're doing? Well, uh, Not Whitefish. Oh, yeah, okay. that's too yeah. bad. So there's no comedy whatsoever. There's in Whitefish. just no comedy. I mean, and that's what the, the fuck thing are about you doing, Devin? Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> How much wine have you had, you silly boy? Not enough. <laughs> yeah. You want mine? If wait, yeah, sure, just dump it in there. Yeah. No, if um, oh shit, I forget where I was going with that. Wow. Yeah, you just stopped the show. Well, yeah, there's it, no it, I mean, white That's actually something I'm pumped up about I'm Albuquerque because back. of you know. I mean, I can go watch open mic, go see it. You got, I'm, I'm your guy's biggest fan. 
Oh, hey. I'm hey, starstruck wow. sitting here with you guys right now. <laughs> I don't, no, there's, but, uh, there's not like a right answer for this, but who would you say is your favorite comedian? Don't say John Just, Quay, are we? That's an obvious. A, I wasn't going to say that. There is that. a right answer. <laughs> but like, obviously, second best. It's Alan favorite. Clark. Oh, well, Scott you're Williams. a fucking liar Clark. then. You know what? That's fine. <laughs> uh, I gave you wine. I was going to say I gave you uh, wine. Aubrey Scott, but uh, <laughs> she you basically treated him like Bill oh. Cosby would treat a date and you <laughs> expect him to. You just stole my wine. I thought you said you didn't want it anymore. <clears throat> I was joking. Oh, well, shit. Well, hey, we'll just drink He's from gonna, the same glass. We'll okay. Just, yeah. We're buds. We're buds. This is going to be fun. Seems like some sort of seduction plot. No, yeah, White, Whitefish is a, a great spot. It's a it's a cool it's a really cool place. It's the cool, coolest place in life er, in Montana. Were you born there? Yep. Okay. And uh, well, ski resorts, lakes, rivers. You know, Glacier National Park is right there. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, cool. The coolest place in Montana isn't necessarily a fantastic accolade. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I have the best GPA in the special ed class right now. The second coolest place is Taco John. <laughs> <laughs> I ha- we have a Taco John's. I have the I best know. lyric oh, yeah. for the Scott Stapp CD. <laughs> <laughs> Same claim to fame. Was it was it Montana, Alan, that uh, Jay Gillespie and uh, Julian yeah. Moton? Do, do you have that anywhere? Not, I mean, not isolated. Yeah, yeah, that, is that going to be on the best of? Yeah, part two. <laughs> on the best of? Uh, Alan's working on a best of uh, part, 100 episodes Yeah, part one and part two And one of them includes uh, Julian Moton uh, He's one of the local comics I don't know if you've seen I don't him. know But uh, he was here And there's She's this half dude black <clears throat> Long curly hair Looks like Slash a little bit Pessimist Slash if you were a comic I, thi- I think I do know Who you're talking yeah. about Slash's Yeah So uh, he was here And then there's this comic This traveling comic Named Jay Gillespie Far out dude Really awesome Fucking nuts Have really you ever positive seen guy. Jay Gillespie He's a positive guy He does these he fucking does songs. nutty songs. Like, he has like, a drum machine, and then he just does the lyrics, and like, yeah, they're really nutty. Songs. Do you have any of his songs, like, by any chance? Uh, I know he performed at least one for us, and maybe he even played us out. Yeah. But um, he uh, was traveling uh, through uh, Albuquerque. Oh, I think it was like September, October, and uh, he came through. And Julian Moton, being a a, a uh, uh, hipster comic of sorts. Uh, he's a younger kid. He has a, a little bit of a pessimistic view. You know how it is when you're 21, 22. You don't really <clears throat> see the world in a positive shit's light. Shit's fucked up. That's right. Shit's fucked up. And I'm not afraid to say it. Yeah. I have the internet, dude. Yeah. Exactly. Uh-huh. And so uh, and so he, he starts ragging on Montana. And Jay Gillespie, who is like this awesome hippie dude who is like mostly laid back unless he's on stage. He just he goes into this kind of unnatural fucking defense of Montana. Yeah. <laughs> it was really bizarre. Like, out of nowhere, he just started defending the weird state of Montana. <laughs> it's like, have you? <laughs> and it became the serious tense thing to where like we were like okay okay we had to calm it down a little bit cuz they were going back and forth and they were both pretty uh pretty gentlemanly about it but it was just interesting that they had such a a point of contention over Montana yeah over Montana <laughs> it was a such a, an odd moment um <laughs> but uh so whitefish montana and then mm-hmm. some broad uh, <laughs> kicked you out of your hometown? Had she lived there? Wait, is the guy from Denver? <coughs> no. Uh, yes. Okay, I know Jay who Gillespie. he is. is I that... performed with him. No, she's she uh, she moved back to L.A. She was from L.A. and she moved out there. And she moved back, to... so she's not even there anymore. No, she's not there anymore. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you find it? Yeah. Okay. Once I was gone, Ultra she had no laser. more reason <laughs> to be in there. Was she was done. Yeah, I was the obsession. We'll have to talk about that a little bit more. Yeah, here's we can a, talk about that. Here's uh, Jay Gillespie, who is the comic that kind of uh, had oh, a little thing. Is about this to, them talking about Montana right here? No. Uh, oh, okay. This uh, is his song. That was yeah, actually yeah, on those songs. That was uh, TTO and um, until he can afford a Twitter. <laughs> until I can. <laughs> it's some um, party. You're all invited. I really want you to come. I've got the streamers. I've got the balloons. I've got the soda. I've got the pie. I've got music that's bumping. Uh, I've got strobe lights. I've got black lights. Um, plenty to drink. Plenty to eat there's gonna be hot chicks there or attractive dudes if that's what you're into (laughs) and i've got one special ingredient that's gonna set this party off that's the methamphetamines methamphetamines crystal methamphetamines what methamphetamines i mean in all honesty is there a better drug that you could take if you want to just party for six days straight if you want to party for six days straight i swear to god there's not a fucking problem is it hot in here methamphetamines methamphetamines crystal methamphetamines methamphetamines you know and I'll just hit a 
another one because that's how fast they're going. I'll just keep playing you out. Shouts out to whatever girl I'm in love with right now. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready oh, yes. to have a baby, okay? <laughs> oh, I'm mature no. enough, and I'm grown up enough, and I want to do it, and I'm ready to do it, and I can do it now, and I'm going to be a good father to that baby, and I'm going to take good care of that baby, but before I can have that baby, well, there's just one thing that I need, and that's a hot, wet pussy oh. to stick my dick in. Hot, wet <laughs> oh, you thought it was going to be the, the, the thought my wrist. Hot, wet, yeah, the scars from cutting herself. Yeah. I think about that hot, constantly. Wet, <laughs> do we have any recordings? Yet? Are we uh, currently on? On your podcast, watching your awesome. podcast, is that yeah. awesome? yeah. Yeah. Are. I bet Albuquerque loved that meth song. Great. Yeah, it's Podception. Pods- <laughs> really great radio we have right here. No, I wish I had a recording. So what's his name again? Jay Gillespie. Jay Gillespie. And I bet you it's on his website. And I, bet he, you- I think we're going to have to call him sometime soon. Is he yeah, the son wow. of, of famous jazz Dizzy? musician Dizzy Gillespie? I'm sure. Same, same yeah. line there? <laughs> Because he kind of looks like him in the skin. Looks exactly and like face. him. You know, I would have on that one, I would have said, well, but if you turn him around really fast, then he becomes Dizzy Gillespie, because there's more of a connection between that than between, you know, the African-American thing. But whatever. Uh, I was, what, Africa, is that, oh, I, you know, I don't see skin color. Oh, okay. Well, you must get robbed You don't lot. have to lie. <laughs> <laughs> you're, all, you're all brown to me. So he doesn't lock his door at all. Like, <laughs> He's just, like cruising through the ghetto, like <laughs> doors unlocked. <laughs> uh, yeah. So shit. That was. Uh, you guys have been pretty awesome, man. We still have a, a few more minutes here. Why do you That's got good. the popcorn? Oh, the popcorn. I went to I see. I actually want some. You want some? I want some. Yeah, popcorn. go for it, man. Yay. He made his own butter. <laughs> I did. Ah, yeah. so duck you know. butter. <laughs> duck butter. Yes, it's duck buttered popcorn. Do you guys know what duck butter is? I don't know what duck it's, butter is. Taste that popcorn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can you make like a latte out of like human butter. milk? Is that possible? <laughs> would that be good? Sure. Like breast milk? Yeah, breast milk. Oh, I think I'm so. sure. All milk is breast milk, but it's different breasts. Breasts. Yeah, human breast milk. Yeah, human breast milk. That's I want duck human. butter. Yeah. I'm sure. Delicious, huh? Yeah. So next yeah. time you're you're at a uh, at a gym uh, and you're in a locker room, just, be just scream that you love duck butter. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the duck butter? So, John, you don't. You don't think it's maybe um, in bad taste to buy snacks for a movie that's about a sniper? Fuck no. <laughs> that's in good taste. <laughs> I was watching uh, watching it's some... Like, oh, I'm going to eat the popcorn while his wife is screaming on the phone while he's being shot at. No, he's probably I... masturbating, too. <laughs> well, I was. Well. <laughs> Made my date uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> first date, whatever. I have... Uh, <laughs> Lower standard. like la- last that. date, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, so uh, yeah, I was actually eating a handful of popcorn while a seven-year-old Iraqi boy uh, took a uh, uh, took a sniper round to the thirty yacht six to the chest. Yeah, exactly. While holding what is it, an RPG? <laughs> uh, it was some sort of grenade. Oh. It was one of those little grenades they toss. They, I believe, the term is a Chinese grenade. Yeah, because it's yellow. Well, it, it actually was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you know, it really I, is. I don't think I could have eaten popcorn. While that scene was going on, because of my throbbing erection. Exactly. While well, I came twice the, during that scene, yeah, <laughs> dying for the kid dying, of course. Jeez. I gotta say, you, this is the Mo Allen? freedom boner. First duck butter I've ever had. It's, uh, <laughs> that you know of. He's still enough. caught on the duck butter. <laughs> <laughs> Why wouldn't That's I be? Clip right there. First duck butter I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's good. All right, I'm writing that down. <laughs> Ten. Uh, so yeah, American Sniper. Are you? Is anyone else interested in seeing that? Uh, sort Sniper. of, sort of. Just because I, I was listening to Ari Shafir and he hated it. Really? Yeah. That's he was he was all up in arms. Saying about. it's like propaganda <laughs> and all this stuff. Yeah. He, yeah. He, he. Yeah. He wasn't. Well, the, it, there is an interesting correlation between movies that come out that kind of show the downside. Whoa. <laughs> that kind of show the downsides of war, and then recruitment tends to go up. So it's a weird sort of correlation with Saving Private Ryan, mm-hmm. cor- or um, the recruitment went up, and kind of happens a lot. I've heard that <laughs> kind of thing. You know, yeah, uh, when Top Gun came out, uh, the Air that's Force a had a whole the yeah. That's a movie too. Don't. <laughs> I know. To, I know Top Gun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Air Force had a whole. Sure, bunch you don't know of, the Wonder Years. Whole, whole bunch of people enlist <laughs> when actually Top Gun was in the Navy the entire time. Do you? Uh, do you do you remember the Top Gun? All right, Devin. <laughs> what? Do you remember the Top Gun uh, Atari game? 
It was fu- oh no the Nintendo game Nintendo Top, the Top Gun game fucking awesome. Nintendo oh, it was Nintendo platform. Nintendo yes. Just yes, it was it was awful. Nintendo's Nintendo a horrible. video game. There were seven uh, pixels on the screen, and you had to differentiate which one was your plane. <laughs> yeah, but that's all you had back in the day, and it's a classic video game, and it plays awesome. No, it doesn't. Days yeah, it of does. Thunder was way better. Days actually, of Thunder, the video game. Yeah, really. I saw. I, I was watching a Wait, cut of Steve. Top Gun that was um, <laughs> just. It was Top Gun, but it was just the really kind of overtly homosexual bits of Top Gun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was ten minutes longer than Top Gun. Yeah, I've jacked. I mean, I've seen that before. Top Gun is so gay that Roger Waters watched it and was like, "That's a little over the top, you guys." <laughs> <laughs> top, I filmed the sequel, Bottom. Gun. What'd you just say about Roger Waters? <laughs> wait, which one? Wait, wait, hang on. He's the the guitarist from Pink Floyd. <laughs> oh God damn it! No, John Waters. No, bassist, sorry. <laughs> He's doing this. no, I had so my my little cousin is a huge fan of Pink Floyd, and John Waters, the the really incredibly flamboyant filmmaker, was coming to Santa Fe Hairspray. to do like a thing. Yeah, okay, because you just called the guy from Pink Floyd. Gay. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I met John Waters. I apologize. So John Waters was coming to Santa Fe, and I mistook him for Roger Waters, and so I bought my cousin. I was going to like buy my cousin tickets to see John Waters. It's a good thing that Crystal Waters wasn't coming to town because <laughs> that's a reference. <laughs> 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 Chris, we actually just heard some audio of what John's going to be doing when he leaves the show. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a ride from someone else? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't hassle him. He's local with his What About Bob shirt. Oh, yeah, look at the... Uh, have yeah. it, anybody remember What About Bob? Oh, yeah. I remember movie. What About That Bob. was a movie. I got What About Bob. I know What About Bob. <laughs> from before you were I think it's somebody. funny because I'm younger. Yeah, I know. Alan is <laughs> actually <laughs> younger than you. <laughs> Wait, what? Really? How old are you? I'm 22. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. What year were you guys born in? I can't 92. Remember. This is a nice apartment for a 22-year-old. What, 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 mm. what year? We, we, you're in this you're apartment? In it's 2015. Yeah. yeah, it was 92. 91, August of 91. From okay. Wow. Nice year. Isn't it good? You're the dragon or something? I don't know. You guys know the Dream Team? The Dream yeah, Team. Yeah, I know the Dream oh, Team. Oh, with uh, Michael Keaton. <laughs> <laughs> he was the point guard. Yes, he was the point guard. <laughs> right. Let's talk about the movie. Is that a movie? Yeah, with uh, Michael Keaton. He's in a mental ward. They go on a field trip, and then the guys escape somehow, and he has to wrangle them up. And then they win the basketball in the Olympics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Sure. They win the gold medal, beating everybody by 60-plus the entire time. America. Michael Keaton. There was also a porn called The Cream Team. It just <laughs> was a, came out shortly after everybody The Dream Team. That. Yeah, of course. There was a sequel, Cream Pie Team. That was good. I, I have this thing like I, it's one of my dreams to make I want to direct pornography and and the stipulation talk is, to Chris Forte <laughs> he does recruitment yeah I, I like I want to do it to where I don't hire actresses based on like boob size and and how I, I would hire like if you want to work on my porn you have to give me like a dramatic monologue like you have to do an actual I want to make like some nice how about them explaining why they need the rent <laughs> <laughs> seems pretty dramatic are you gonna fuck these porn stars before you cast them no I want to be I want to be the, the that back room shit right <laughs> I want to be I was trying to think of a good who's a good director just name Roman it. Polanski. Roman Polanski. I want to be oh, the. Jesus. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you want to be the Roman Polanski of child molesters. <laughs> Such a prolific child molester that he's not even allowed. I'd rather in be the anymore. Stephen Collins of child molesters. <laughs> seventh Heaven <laughs> from a few minutes ago. <laughs> That's a callback. Yeah. <laughs> that is a callback. That's a perfect. He's a. So you, you have to be a really good child molester to just not be allowed back in America. To a game. really good child molester. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are and the that's, criteria for being a good one? You know what? Okay, so my my grandpa always told me. I know he said, good's Devin, arbitrary. My grandpa used to tell me, Devin, whatever it is you do, be the best at it. So if I'm a child molester, I'm not going to be some like bullshit shitty child molester. Yeah, some I'm guy that be... just does it like a random Tuesdays. Yeah, no, Ruby Tuesday just style. Go all out. <laughs> do it do daily. every Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah, at Nexus, N- not at Nexus. <laughs> Sorry, don't take a day bad, off. Bad time Hold for now. Yeah, like Alan was asking you, what's the criteria? Do to some be a research. Good child molester. It's okay. So, well, obviously, it's it's uh, stability or um, you know, like you have to have. It, it, you, like I think course. amount, amount. You have to have a good amount. You have to have a good. Does the person have to get amount? giddy? Does the person have to get giddy like butterflies <laughs> in the stomach when they see a kid, or can it be like, oh, I know which one I want. I'm gonna do this army style, army of one. 
I think that if you want to be a good child molester, it's more about the effects on your victims, the long-term oh, effects. Oh, wow. Are you guys okay, seriously think, having think, a conversation about, about the most about effective way to damage a child <laughs> through child I molestation? I got it. I got it. I got it. The, the, the key to being a good child molester. I'm trying to bait him to see where it goes. <laughs> the thing that makes you the best child molester possible is how many of your victims later on also became child molesters. <laughs> so what does that mean for you Bill Cosby? <laughs> Wait, no, not child. They weren't uh, child. They weren't child. Way of judging that. Those Bill Cosby only raped adult females. Good point. There was no Rudy. Yeah, lay off him. No. Jeez, yeah. what the guy do? Lay, you know, lay the off deal? Bill Cosby. You really? <laughs> you like? Okay, you're trying to say lay off a of Bill Cosby? Yeah, come on. He, he probably didn't do a thing in a he conversation about people. child molestation. <laughs> yeah, lay, lay off a of Bill Cosby. Yeah, Bill Cosby. It's not like he molested. <laughs> yeah, compared any kids. to the child molesters, like Bill Cosby sounds like a saint. <laughs> <This guy. laughs> yeah, compared to Stephen Collins, Bill Cosby is well, Bill Cosby. Yeah. Stephen Collins? <laughs> what? No. Uh, <clears throat> so, uh, so, uh, hey, where's uh, what do you? What spots are you hitting this week? Uh, your open mics. What are what are the open mic places that you like to hit up? All right, my, my I mean, definitely, I'm going to be at uh, I'm going to be at Back Alley. Of okay, course, why do you g- give me your alley. your idea your um your opinion of Back Alley or your account of Back Alley? What you what, what's uh what's your feeling about it? I know everybody really obviously likes it, but what's the thing that you like about it or the reason? that you're there so often uh there's a crowd there's a crowd and People a lot of it, it is randoms right nice yeah well my actually my my oldest <laughs> brother brandon vinalia he is the head brewer of back alley he makes oh, cool. all the beers there so that's always that's a good Do you get any sort of any sort of yeah. discount i you know i don't want to i don't want to ruin the discount so i'm gotcha, not gonna say, so you're not gonna you say know, i'm sorry I, yes. I have to point out that talking about american sniper led to child molestation talk <laughs> <laughs> So don't go see put that out there. Either way, it's about getting a few shots off. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, he's the head brewmaster, eh? Yeah, the brewer. He's he's been doing some nice, good things with the beer there. He, he's there's like two or three recipes, or two or three beers there that are his own recipe. Okay. Is he, you is should he like go the uh, and try it out. Is it like the equivalent of the the bald ginger guy on the Sam Adams commercial? Like as far as job like title Sam goes, <laughs> no, just like he's he's like the guy who's always on the commercials and stuff. Oh, yeah, he's like yeah, he seems so. to be an important person there. Yeah, you just trust him because sometimes he walks by and like smells a thing, and you're like, oh, look at him. He's yeah, yeah, exactly. He's, <laughs> he's got on be top of this people. shit. He knows he what he's talking about. He does a little swirly motion with his hands at things sometimes, and smells then they the spray each other with a hose later on, like <laughs> goofing around. You guys, oh, I get it. It's fun, fun to make here. beer. Yeah. Well, that's cool. I didn't know about. I didn't. I did not know about that. Yeah, that's, um, that's you got to get the local stuff when you're around there. Nice I think way. we've we've kind of learned a lot of shit that people didn't know about uh, some of the other people on this podcast. Like, you guys didn't know Kurt a whole lot. Mm-hmm. You know, you kind of have an idea of who Oh, John, is, what did you learn? Well, I learned uh, that if you leave uh, the conversation Ooh. up to uh, comics, they will talk about child molestation. It'll eventually go to the worst common denominator. <laughs> but, uh, no, no, but I thought it was just really Kurt cool. Kurt was silent during all of that almost. <laughs> he does not want his name attached. Sister. Suspiciously <laughs> silent. Yeah, can you just yeah. delete me out of that part? <laughs> but no, I thought it was cool that uh, n- like nobody would know that you were a naval photographer. That's oh, something yeah. nobody. Hey, Belly, yeah, you were on Time Magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pictures yeah. of Belly Button. I don't know. Only one. And no, no people wouldn't know that uh, your brother is the head, the head brewmaster yeah. uh, at. Back alley, right? Back alley, yeah. And that's pretty cool. And people didn't know that Alan, uh, his uh, middle school coach, got put away for a while. <laughs> I didn't know that either, actually. Yeah, this is all news to me. You didn't but, wonder where he was at all? <laughs> no, those were the wonder years, and I should have wondered. <laughs> the wonder years. Uh, I'll, I'll be at Nexus uh, every Tuesday at 7.30, of course. Yeah. Nexus Brewery, blah, blah, blah. Because it depends on me bringing the microphone. That's right. That's right. So you'll, hopefully you'll be there. Uh, Kurt, uh, Kurt, where are you going to be? This is the last time we'll see you for a while, man, uh, on the podcast. Uh, Going to Nexus? You, probably not. Probably not. Where are you out of? Wh- I might, I'll try to. Are you leaving? Like when you when do you leave to Colorado? Uh, like February 9th ish. So until then, are you just laying low, or are you going to be no, out I've at got some, some of the shows. spots? Yeah, I'll probably pop into some open mics. Okay, cool, man. Tell my Creed jokes and <laughs> yeah, because you've been through everything. And you you also <laughs> did a podcast this morning. Who was that with? Uh, that was uh, what was the guy's name? Nathan Bickley. He's a musician. Uh, he used to come down to the Blue Dragon Coffee House. They needed the, the money. Yeah, he really <laughs> used to work there. 
for oh, the yeah. Blue Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, we used to do open mics. He over needed there. the money. <laughs> and he would he would uh, do his his acoustic music. Uh, so him and his friend Ashley have a podcast called Blowing Up, uh, and we did wait. Is it a chick? Yeah. Is she hot? Yes. Okay. Nice. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah, I like how you ask, is it a chick? Because the name Ashley, I've been seeing a couple guys. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Lately. It's really creepy. Fucking Caucasians. <laughs> That's my favorite podcast <laughs> in New Mexico <laughs> right now. Probably the yeah. best one. Which one? The Blowing Up. It's the best podcast. Wait, what? Mexico, I think. What? Yeah, yeah. Shut the I mean, like, I can't even think of any other oh, podcasts man. that are happening that are really that yeah. important. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Uh, so, so what's I can't it, think of any either. Uh, it's called the Blowing Up Podcast. Blowing Up, yeah. Okay, that's cool. Uh, and you, what did you talk about on it? Uh, we talked about flushable wipes. <laughs> 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 the whole episode it was awesome. I use flushable wipes. I love them. Uh, so they can just the find that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Where can they find that? Huh? Where can they find that podcast? Uh, it's not posted up yet. We just recorded this morning. I'm not sure how long it takes to post it up, but... You'll put that I'll, out uh, there. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, of course, you guys can find Kurt on Facebook. You can find him at his website. What is it? FunnyFletcher.com. FunnyFletcher.com. And yeah. uh, you do have some of the podcasts up, right? I do, yeah. Do? That's fucking yeah. cool, man. That's I put, fucking I put awesome. a bunch of them on my blog, you know, like linked up to it. I need to update it so that all the episodes are on there. Well, that is great. That's how we are with our website. I need to update it. Yeah. (laughs) I'll probably do that tonight. And uh, Devin, where you said you're going to be at Back Alley. Be at Back Alley. You're going to be at Nexus. I'm at. Yeah, I'm going to be at Nexus. Hopefully this week. Okay. And uh, now that. Oh, there we go. And then, so hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to be at um, at I'm going to make my triumphant return to Broken Bottle. Oh, nice. Wednesday night on the West Side. Uh, but we don't promote them. We compete with time. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's understood. You'll I be- haven't I haven't uh, been there in in at least two months because I owe the bartender twelve dollars, and now I have twelve dollars, so I'll be there again. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Tyler, are you coming out to Back L your Nexus? I'll probably be at both of them. Okay, cool. I should see go, you at Back L. Go support you guys. No, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, there's also a cool show for you guys that don't know uh there's a cool show tonight it is at uh, cool water fusion uh well Ke- kevin kennedy uh kevin kennedy <laughs> yeah he uh you know despite what i think of him uh you gotta uh, well, anyway, uh, it's going to be a good show. I think Sarah Kennedy's going to be there, uh, and also this guy named um, Ben Cronenberg. Kurt says he's hey. pretty fucking awesome. He right won now. the. He won the. Didn't he win Power Hour? Yeah. Yes, he did. I was there. Yeah, he did. Nice Were you? It was also Dude, he had a killer. Standing. He had a killer finishing line. Huh? Bu- he looks like a broken down version of Alton Brown. He was though. the guy that Roseanne Barr told him to go fuck himself. Oh yeah, <laughs> I've heard that. Awesome thing he had, a, he had a killer one-liner at the end of, of Power Hour that won the competition. It was something, um, cause, yeah, it came down to a tie or something, so his his final one-liner was, I just found out my favorite rapist is also a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Genevieve. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, we'll see uh, Alan at Nexus, I'm sure. You can check out PotentialProblemsPodcast.com. Uh, always find us there. Hey, thanks to everybody. Thanks yeah, to lis- everybody who listened. We had a great audience Thank today. Thanks me. to everybody for coming on. It was actually one of uh, one of the better episodes. Good. Uh, that happens with people we like. I'm nice. not a child molester. I just <laughs> want <laughs> you just play one on a podcast. <laughs> I never hit you. Even though the sweater says he is. <laughs> <laughs> Potential Problems Podcast. Thank you.